Hi guys, uh, welcome to uh, our indices market breakdown. And then on today's video, we will be looking at Nasdaq US 30 and German 30. Be sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, and do drop a comment if you have like any questions concerning like this uh, analysis that I'm doing uh, at the moment. And you can check out all the links in the description below and join our free Telegram channel. So uh, on the weekly, we have this lowest low around here, this low here, and then we have this lowest low around here, and then we have the high. So we are putting out like all the value areas that we are going to use. And then the overall move for, NAS for NASDAQ is to the downside, as you can see here. And then uh, switching to the daily chart, that is why you'll see that we had like a clear push to the upside currently and then we have this as our high value area around here and then we have a descending channel within a descending channel so it's a high probability setup just because we have like a pattern within a pattern on this one so moving to the four hour that is where we check for momentum and all of that stuff so let me just put like uh, my analysis correctly so that we can get to see uh, what's happening in the markets so we have this and then we had like a double bottom even though it's not clear but it uh works so we have another high value area of which it's around this area here where uh nasdaq is currently at so we broke structure we came back to retest so i think uh we have to come back and retest again so that we may maybe get like an entry to the 90 percent rule and then another inflection point that you must watch out for is this one is because uh if we move back to the daily you'll see that this uh that area that i pointed out can be like uh, a third touch uh just because we have this first touch second touch so this can be an inflection point as a third touch so you better be careful of that uh when it happens and then moving to the hour chart that is where we take our entries so let me just remove that and then uh, on our entries we can get like another retest and then let me just cater for the current market structure of which is this one here and then we can get like a retest and then we look for uh long opportunities around this area first take profit and then overall stop loss just below here and then the overall second take profit that's at the 90 percent rule for about 20 percent and then like i always say we can get like more entries you don't have to like uh, enter one trade around here and then aim for the 20 percent you can get like a breakout and then maybe scale in around this area here for another buy up until like this overall target that we have and then moving to us 80 uh, let me just remove everything so we start on the weekly and then let me try and zoom out so zooming out us data is clearly moving the same way as nasdaq is we have this uh double bottom here and then we have this low here and then this area is a mass psychology area as you always know and then we have this expanding pattern of which it was broken and then all of these setups guys i've been sharing them with you for the longest telling you that uh, we may get like some buying opportunities and they are pushing uh, the way that we expected and then you have like a high value area here of which the market has been tapping like this area for the longest you can see that even if you put it like on a line chart that this is a high value area and then let's switch back to our uh, candlestick and then moving to the daily uh, we currently broke structure and then we are waiting for uh, some continuations to the upside so let's switch to the four hour and see but we have so on the four hour we had like a break and a retest so if we close like in this engulfing candlestick pattern then we can look for buying opportunities so let's switch to the hour then on the hour chart uh, already it's pushing to the upside so let's see what we can get from there so you can maybe take an entry around here aiming for this high here your stop loss is just below the zone here and then you can please a rail line here just to uh, indicate that we are pushing to the upside and then you can protect yourself using the rail line also the trend line also and then moving your stop loss just below here so that you are protected and then let's let me just draw like another trend line around this area here so we have like two trend lines 
indicating that we are pushing to the upside so let's switch back to the daily and see if we can get like something that we can use and then on the daily also i can just draw out like the overall trend on the daily chart and then as you can see it's pushing to the upside so this can be our second target and then this can be like our first target around here the 90 percent low and then the second target could be like the third touch just because we have the one two here and then the third touch around there so we can have like two uh take profits on this one and you can swing like this trade here so let's look at the last um pair of which it's german deity so on the daily so you zoom out the overall structure and as you can see pushing to the upside same as the other indices and then i only focus like on the current market structure of which is this one here around here so we haven't broken any structure as you can see here we have like the low we have the high here and then let's switch to the daily and see what we have on the daily so on the daily i think we broke this low here the slow point around this area here after breaking the slow point and then we came back to impulse to the upside so this is the mass ecology area that we are working with and then throwing out the overall structure you can see that we already broke the overall structure on this uh pair so let me just try and zoom out and then put everything correctly and then we have uh another pattern within a pattern around this area here and then if i can cater for it and then extend the pattern it would be like this and moving to the four hour chart that is where you'll see like the overall movement and then let me cater for the patterns that we have pattern separate everything so that we can have a clear picture of what's going on and this is what we have currently catering for the high value areas that we had then we broke structure around this area here. Broke structure around here. Okay, so uh, the entry that we can have is a retest around this area here. And then if we don't get like uh, a retest, we can opt in for the uh, tight flag of which it's 68 hours. And then it's moving very nicely, guys. It's moving very nicely. It's moving very nicely. Low, high, low, high, low, a higher high. Then we expect a higher low to create a higher high. So that higher low can be that retest that we are looking for so that we can take uh, the entry. So we are just following structure so that we can get like uh, our nice entries. So we can come back and retest the same area. Then we look for the overall 90% rule. Stop loss just below here. And then our forecast is very simple just like this then the 90 percent rule and then another forecast would be this one whereby we get like the nice tight flag six to eight hours and then we get the entry around here and yeah so that is how i'll draw out like everything that i'm looking at and then yeah i'll see you on another video